Alright, welcome back guys to one of the many highly anticipated city builders of the new year. We got Mandalords coming up soon, but of course we also have Frostpunk 2. So we're playing Frostpunk 1 in anticipation of the sequel. Now Frostpunk 2 will have a uh, closed or like a paid beta or whatnot. Uh, essentially like a pre-order beta that will come out on the 15th of April. So we'll actually get a chance to play Frostpunk 2 in beta form before the, uh, well before the release of it sometime this summer. I think it's uh, July. I'd forgotten. My, uh, kind of my, my sights are very short right now until like mid-May. Pretty much we've got Mandalords releasing on the 26th and, uh, well, we got the Frostpunk beta next week, and then, uh, of course, we're going to finish Frostpunk 1. So I'm kind of focused on all that now before I go off on vacation to Japan. So, anyway, um, yeah, welcome back. Good to see you all here. Hope you're all enjoying your week so far. Just getting the game uh, reinstalled. I had to delete a bunch of games. I, I accidentally deleted Frostpunk because I was deleting some other stuff. So we'll get that popped back in here. It's almost done. And then we'll get started with the uh, continuation of the Refugees Um Scenario. So we'll be playing that for a few hours tonight, and then we'll be moving some things around on the schedule for uh, this week too. So we'll go ahead and check that while we uh, get ready for this game to finish uh, installing. So welcome back. Good to see you all here. Thank you very much for tuning on the turning on the notification bell, tuning in. So here on this channel, you're going to be able to see some really awesome city builders this month. We've got uh, Frostpunk 2 with the beta coming up. We've got Manor Lords at the end of the month on the 26th, and we've got Lasara Summit Kingdom, which is a beautiful game that you may have seen a video on earlier on the channel, building like a beautiful city on a mountaintop. So that's pretty cool. So anyway, welcome back and good to see everybody here. Locked in, ready for more, and so am I. So that sounds like that game is ready to go. Let's jump in. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. All these poppy and like energetic beats for a game that like really brings you down sometimes this game it can be real brutal this one is uh, amongst one of the harder scenarios for me from what i can recall from before and also i'm having a tough time with it now and uh also uh i think you guys have said that one of the hardest missions or uh, scenarios is the fall of winter home but also there's like over the edge and i think one of the coolest ones though is probably the the autumn last autumn dlc which is great very cool one that one to be to able to, to be able to see like trees and uh, like actual like um, a living world like grass and stuff like that in Frostpunk is really weird. So the autumn last autumn DLC is crazy. It's like what the hell are we even playing Frostpunk? Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Okay, this should work. Awesome. Yo, Global, with the 10 months as a Raptor Ultimate. Welcome. Dude, you are two months away from the big one year, dude. Big. That's going to be big for you. You're going to get that blue eye. It's going to look look pretty. I always love when I see people just about... Actually, the, the blue eye is two years. The yellow eye is one. But I get very excited when we get people about to hit the one year and the two year. The one year is really, really exciting because it's like, wow, a whole year. And then to double that is like even, even crazier. So... Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's continue. So let's uh, pause and get our bearings. We had some trouble, uh, but we're going to set an outpost up here. What do we got going on? Okay, we got a scout group heading towards the uh, icebound ruin there, and then we've got scouts that just returned here. Let's go to the radio mast. A very tall, thin steel mast. It's almost certainly a radio antenna. All right. And we've got a lot of people in the hospital. And a lot of people without food, but we're cooking that food now, so that's good. Got to get the cookhouse working again. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, the public houses are a little too cold. Okay, we're going to have to build a steam generator over here. Keep these all thought out. Are we not building one already? Oh, we are building one right there. Okay, Steam Hub's already ordered and under construction. Cool. I'll have to turn this off for the day. That's too dangerous. Generator efficiency researched. We could do improved heaters or hub range. I think we'll do hub range. 
trying to get everybody warmed up as much as possible. Yeah, that is one thing we need, chat. You are right. We need additional pylons. True. <laughs> Probably build a heater over here, too. Book of Laws are open up again. Purpose or adaptation? The temple, peacekeeper, pa uh, faith keepers. We could build a big old temple. Well, let's see what we got under the Book of Laws. About as far as I want to go with the Book of Laws. Ex actually, extra ration for the sick, and then what is that? Triage? Organ transplants, wow. Okay, we'll go down the uh, temple path. A new building will unlock hold the temple. The temple raises hope. Discontent will occasionally fall slightly. New ability, ceremonial service, temple, raises hope and comforts the discontented. Uh, we will build a magnificent testament to the devotion of our people. It will kindle hope in the hearts and of the faithful and sway the doubtful. Hear me, hear me. New law in the city. Okay. We got to build that now too. Looks like it has a huge range no matter where we build it. And that's a good spot right here behind the ki Uh, actually... No, it'll squeeze in there. Mic was on. Uh, we'll put it here. Next to the old coal mine. And then we'll get the sawmill out of there eventually. Storage near capacity for wood. Uh-oh. Uh, the dangers of the cold, losing a limb. One of our peoples had to undergo an amputation. Working in the freezing cold left them with such severe frostbite that there was no other choice. We must do something. Man, this one's tough. Global, with the five gifted memberships for chat too. Oh boy. The train has left the station. Here we go. It begins. Drunken meltdown. Sir, a drunken man is having a meltdown in front of the cookhouse. He's screaming that people are ill, homeless, and scared, but instead of help, they get booze with their meals. Escort him home. We're working on heating, sir, I promise. We could upgrade these to tier two now, that'd be awesome. Oh, and then we get we, we get that hub. Uh too many people have left without essentials. Hopeful what? I'm not even sure what that one was. Temple built, hope rises. Well, no need to worry about that then. We're feeding the hungry. Evening prayers, there we go. Things are going 
much more crazy on this one. Sick lords are coming. Captain, another group of lords will arrive shortly. We know that they're in poor health. Our people have good reason to be worried. Had enough trouble with the lords you already let in. This bunch uh, should go spread their diseases somewhere else. Wow, global. Keeping it rolling with another five bomb. It's happening. Thank you, dude, for the support. This is going to get bad. We need a lot more medical care. And heating, really. How far until that tech is researched? Well, they're almost done. Put it over here, and then we can also heat a coal mine. Great. Generator range increase. Infirmary. Right now. With those sick lords on the way. Still working on getting everybody fed. I think we'll need a second cookhouse now. space here. Gotta get these trees out of the way. Did I build that outpost thing? Outpost depot. Okay, we gotta build that too. So we need that to bring in more raw food. Wait, that should be warm between those two heaters. Okay, so I think that cookhouse will be warm. How good is this game? Is it worth buying when it comes out? This game's out now. This is the original Frostpunk, but uh, we will be playing the sequel, Frostpunk 2, when that drops uh, in the beta next week. So Frostpunk 2 will be on the 15th for the beta, and then that comes out later in the year. So we'll see. And then we'll have Manor Lords to play, which... Could you imagine if Manor Lords won Game of the Year? It'll never happen, but... Like, chat, what is the Game of the Year right now? Like, if the Game Awards were, like, tonight, what games would be on the list? We haven't played... We haven't officially played Manor Lords, and it's an early access game, so they probably wouldn't pick it. But what would, uh... What would be the game of the year so far? Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2? Uh-oh. The Sick Lords are here. Captain, a large group of Lords have just arrived. Most of them are seriously ill. They won't be able to work for many days and will overcrowd our medical facilities. What should we do? Let them in. Our health care can handle it. Uh, let them in. I'll improve health care. Send them away. You have four days to open four new places of treatment. Discontent will rise. 
You have two days to heal 180 people. I'll go with that one. Treat the lords. The arrival of so many sick people puts the city in danger. We have to treat all of them as soon as possible. Okay, so it looks like we don't need too many housing. Global hitting us with another orbital strike. This dude thinks he's in Helldivers right now. Thank you, dude, for yet another five gifted memberships for the chat. Wow. Thank you very, very much. Very kind of you. Well, this looks like it's too cold, but it's literally next to two heaters. Oh, yeah, it's, it's well within the range. Maybe it's just cold, the construction site. I don't know. Sick but proud. The sick lords are among us now, but our people try to stay as far away from them as possible. This has rubbed some lords the wrong way. They look at us with such disgust and in, uh, contempt. One of them complains uh, between the fits of coughing. Our dignity is not set, is not diminished just because we're sick. I see. Now, if I can put another heater here, we can heat the... Um, I can put a path here and we can heat the uh, steel mills and those homes. And if a couple houses are out of the uh, loop, what I'll do is I'll just delete them and put them somewhere where we can get them under the cover of the thing. Ooh, this group has five. Whoa, four steam cores, 300 coal, and 211 wood. Okay. <sighs> Can't finish Baldur Gate's three first section. It's not fun alone. Oh, multiplayer. You want to do things multiplayer. I got you. We need to build these uh, infirmaries now. Oh, uh, research is not complete. Soup mode. All right, hopefully tonight we get a ton of raw food. Steel mills have to start earlier. Solitaire Remastered. You want that to win? <laughs> that would be hilarious. I, I don't I don't know what we would see at the Game Awards right, that was going on right now. Is that hot cocoa? No, it's just tea. Cocoa would be nice, though. All right, we're going to have to... Did I research a coal mine? I don't think we did. Where's my research? Uh, we researched a sawmill, steelworks, wall drill, and a coal thumper. This um, mission seems like it's going a lot faster than any of the previous ones. Like, this one's just constant, like, hey, here's 10 people, now here's 20 people, now here's 30 more people, now here's 20 more, here's 10, here's 30. Like, whoa, calm down. I can't, bro. Okay, so we're going to try to move a house to heating. Let me get rid of that one. Move it over here. 
just to reduce the number of sick. Everyone, everyone and everything should be heated now. Uh, yeah, there's a Frostpunk 2 release date. I forgot what it was. I think it's July. Uh, my, because Manor Lords is right around the corner, my like radar is very limited to now and the end of the month. So it's sometime this summer. But it is on their Steam store page. Radio Mast, they made it. The mast is stabilized with uh, guy wires attached at three levels. There's a hut underneath it. Steel and steam cores. Register of Crimes. We searched the shack under the mast. The radio equipment is gone, but we found the logbook. It only confirmed what we already knew. Uh, still, it was painful to uh, yeah painful to read. London knew about the coming winter well in advance. They didn't warn us, and they only informed the rich. We were left to die. Sites discovered Baron Hollow and Red Flag Camp. Dismantle the mast. Let's go to the Red Flag Camp. Red Flag flies atop a leaning mast. There is some kind of hut underneath it. We can see movement. Ooh. Dangerous rumors. Captain, some people are spreading wild stories about the sick lords. They say that they're contagious and that... If we don't keep away from them, we'll soon be sick as well. Everyone is on edge. Discontent will rise. Okay, so then we should have two soup uh, kitchens making food. Strangers spotted. Captain, one more group of lords is marching in our direction. God. Are you kidding me? With all this right now? Hundred and fifty sick. Almost done with the infirmary. The food numbers are all caught up almost. We're at 50. That's not bad. We'll need a coal mine up right after this. Beautiful. After getting all the achievements for this game, you've been craving for Frostpunk 2. Wow, you got all the achievements? Congratulations. Um, I think uh, one of the most amazing things I've seen in this game is people playing without pause on like, the hardest difficulty. And they just plow right through. Well, um, I 
Damn, I hope this doesn't block the mine. There's lots of wood there, too. I don't want to get rid of it. Oh, there we go. Looks like we might be able to squeeze it in there. Okay. New tech. Coal mining right away. Damn, I just saw the food numbers hit double digits. Let's go, baby. And it's... I'm going to heat it. Change of heart. Sir, a man was found crying silently in the temple. We approached him to ask if he needed help, and he told us he wanted to see you. I thought my faith died long ago, sir. With my wife and my daughters in London, I couldn't see any purpose without... Uh, in our new life, in the fight for survival. But today, when I entered the temple, I saw a future for us. Now I'm ready to face it. Happy to hear it, sir. I could put one there. That won't touch the uh, coal mine. Ooh, look at all that damn food we got. Everybody gets to eat. Hell yeah, brother. Beautiful, man. You love playing slow? Make sure everything's perfect. How people play that fast, I have no idea. Yeah, you know, they. I think they just come up with a method and then just replicate that every time they play. I'm not entirely sure, but it's impressive. Person sick but being treated, okay. I need to put more engineers in there. Okay, what are our engineers working on? Okay, they're fully staffed. Beautiful. <sighs> Plants are doing well. Oh, garage garden, yes. The garage garden is secure. Good to hear. Perimeter secure, guys. We're good. <laughs> Chat's got a lot of cool hobbies, man. People growing stuff in their garage. Baking and knitting and stuff. All right, coal mine unlocked. We're locked in. Oh, this one's actually in the... Uh, in the warmth there. Oh, there's a few trees there. Oh, okay. We can keep logging up there if we need to. I'm going to build one where it's already warm. 
One less thing to worry about. Okay, let's research coal mining optimization right away. They made it to the Red Flag Camp. Some lords have set up camp here. All of, all of them are on the brink of death. Survivors. Dying wish. The Red Flag, actually a duvet case, flies over the uh, most pitiful camp we've ever seen. I'm glad to see you, although I wish we'd met sooner, croaks one of the lords. I regret that I can only implore you to give us a proper burial. We're, di we're dying and have chosen not to fight it anymore. Please respect our final request. Let them die and bury them. Try to bring them to the city. We got 16 engineers amongst them. Damn it. Alright, we gotta come back. Gotta come back to camp. What else do we get? Theme core 68 metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are lords. Gotta figure out where else the engineers are working. Could take them out of the basic infirmaries and try to put them in the better ones. We'll shut those down for now. Try to use the better one. Alright, I gotta build another... I gotta build another steam hub anyway to keep the uh, coal mine warm. And we gotta build a road to it. More sick beds needed. Captain, some of our people are concerned about the rising number of untreated sick they're asking you to address the problem I'll open a new infirmary you have four days to build it All right. I'm gonna build one anyway We might have to start creeping up into this this territory up here where trees are still. Actually, we could delete this sawmill and move it further closer to the trees. Let's do that. I'm going to get that sawmill out of there. Yo, know, Herb, thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Thank you very much. Well, the generators are going to shut down, but we're going to do what we can. We got to open those gathering huts earlier too. Damn, I thought we had food for everybody. We're going to have to build new houses too, aren't we? We got new people on the way. We need new houses.
I could just build this one next to the road. No, that's in the cold. Okay, we almost have another book of law. Law Airwolf, thank you very much for following on Twitch as well. Chat! Oh my god, you guys forgot to remind me. Oh my god. I forgot again. Did anybody in chat remind me? No, of course. We all forgot. It's okay. Hold on, we got something big to do. Big. Here's what we're going to do. A giveaway. Because I forgot. Alright, let's do... A giveaway for a game called Captain of Industry. It's another building game. Very similar to Factorio. Has a little has a little survival to it with farming and whatnot. And let's see. If we can drop another one. Alright, you'll have to guess the last letter and number. On the Discord. Exclamation point. Discord. Good luck. Alright, let's back to it then. Giving away free stuff. Love it. Oh boy. Treat the lords facing starvation. Take care of the ill. Open two new infirmaries. Didn't we build one? I thought we built at least one after that goal came up. Well, we'll do what they say. Cowardly attack. Captain Defusic lords have been attacked and brutally beaten by unknown assailants. One of them had to undergo am amputation. The attackers accused the lords of sp uh, spreading an incurable disease. Oh my god. Very bad. Book of Laws have opened. Not sure I want to go any further with this. Anything else is too pushy. Interestingly enough, in this game, going too far is worse than having everybody die. Surprise, surprise. Okay, that'll be our two infirmaries there. Should have those gathering huts for the coal uh, open 24 hours. Coal mines fired up. How much to build another one? 10 steel. Come on, people, build.
Oh, it's about to warm up. Temperature's raising up one level. Oh my god. Yes, there's a house of pleasure. It's a Denny's and an IHOP in one. It's a Denny's IHOP combo. Well, it looks like the scouts have finally made it there. Icebound hulks, the ships we stole from the lords, now crushed by the ice and stripped of anything not uh, firmly bolted down. Steel. Farewell to ships. These ships saved lives on our lives on many occasions. They carried us uh, out of London before the storm arrived, and they shielded us from the Lord Lord Craven's men. Finally, they brought us here, and all we can do with them is now dismantle them for resources. Dismantle the ships. Broken tree. This place is the only thing standing out in the endless white desert. Let's try to get these full. Yeah, we're getting coal again. And it's warmer. Promise fulfilled. You help the sick, and their families are grateful. Hope rises. And discontent goes down because it got warmer. Thank God. Need another coal mine. Scout unit number one has returned safely to the city. Thank God. I right, get back out there. Let's go to Snowy Hill. And I didn't build this outpost yet, did I? Forty twenty ten. 2010. And we're going to the fishing village. Should have set up that food supply a little bit ago, but... Now we're locked in. Survivors reached the city. Sir, a group of survivors have reached the city. Uh, they're tired. They'll need a place to rest and a bite to eat and perhaps some medical attention, but they're ready to uh, lend a hand however they can. Faith there. There. Yeah, 
Any more cookhouses right now? What's up, PWG? Good to see you. <laughs> Put the lords in the new build coal mine? I like the idea. Well, if everyone's going to survive, everybody's got to work. There's kind of no way around it. No lavish day off. Old numbers rise. Okay, new coal mines functioning. All right, so two coal mines are up. The hungry were fed. Most of the hungry have had a meal and are somewhat satisfied for the time being. Hope rises. Ooh. Now we gotta heal the sick, but this is gonna be a big problem. We'd have to stop our research to fully heal all these people. with medical insulation. I'll go to the outpost, build that, start sending food. Another group is almost to the city. You've got to be kidding me. Looks like 30 engineers are coming with them, though. Enough for more infirmaries. Might want to build another outpost there in the future. This one's uh, tension. A lot of tension here.
Uh, you're going to be playing gold mining sim? You mean like Gold Rush from a million years ago? I, they need to make a new game. If that's the one from uh, Discovery or whatnot, they, they got to come up with a new one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we'll be able to keep this promise. But at least we're improving the situation. It is that Discovery one? Yeah, I hear they're coming out with like an update or DLC in a couple days, but they need to do something else. next group get here. Okay, we'll have a hundred more food arriving. Good. Put a resource depot there. We're going to have to store more raw food. Oh boy. United by faith. <laughs> Sir, we're holding an evening of prayer this afternoon. Plenty of people are here. They're praying, but also talking and laughing. I haven't seen anything this heartening in our city in a long time. It's really brought the community together. Glad to hear that. No change to discontent. Okay. It's like, oh yeah, we love each other. We just hate you. Okay. This one's brutal, man. This one I want to replay a few times. DLC for tomorrow, no longer cold gold rush. The new team has hinted at a new game with multiplayer but actually working on the first one finally hmm. I didn't know that I don't know I just feel like they should just be like not abandon the game but just be like look this game is old and this is the best we could do with this like at this point let's make it let's make it better that kind of thing Oh boy. All right, one more groups of group of lords is coming in in 4 hours. The engineers are welcome. But 70 non-engineers. Lord Craven is coming. Captain, one more group of lords is on the way. Rumor has it that Lord Craven is with them. The lord who ordered our ships to be shot at. Our people are becoming hostile. That leech has no right to enter our city. We've suffered enough because of him and his kind. We gotta get the generator level up. Do the medical insulation. Damn, we're just building like a giant hospital food court here in this game.
I hope I have enough housing. Yeah, that um, the gold gold rush game was based on the show, but it didn't really feature any characters or anything. It was just kind of like, hey, what's it like to mine gold in Alaska? And you could buy different plots and such, but uh, the pot I don't know the potential to make a game that's even better than that is 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 there. Like that was a good start. It was fun. You know, everybody enjoyed like getting um, you know mining out the big nuggets and and digging and going through the wash plant, but. Yeah, the potential to do it on a bigger scale with multiplayer and having people work together with real equipment is cool. Lord Craven is here. Captain, more than 40 children led by a few men have gathered outside our city. They want to be let in, but Lord Craven is in with the group. What should we do? Well, what the... I can't send away the kids. Decent, uh, decent, discontent will rise, hope will fall. I'm not saying no to the kids. Powerless and terrified. A few lords uh, heard a large group of kids into the city. Lord Craven is with them. He looks around, visibly frightened. He's lost all his power and at the mercy of our people. The children are unusually quiet. Most of them are orphans, says one of the lords leading them. I see. Resolve class cl uh, conflict. The old and new... Animosities between lords and our people will make coexistence very difficult. To protect the future of our city, you will have to contain the social unrest quickly before it escalates. Great. People are hungry. Captain, some of our people are here to talk about the lack of food. They're, they've been hungry for days now. They fear soon they'll begin to starve. They want you to do something. Alright, let's feed them. Warm things up. Medical installation complete. All right, good. I'm going to get the power generator up. I got three field kitchens. 
Still not enough. A distinct spot in the Frostland. We can use it as a waypoint for further exploration. Our search hasn't uncovered anything of value, but we may be able to reach some more promising locations from here. Frozen Forest and Iron Bank. A massive rusted door set into a sheer rock face. Looks like the door to a bank vault. Could be supplies. Good. Did you see that Dredge is getting a live action film adaptation? No way. Is it really? Alright, so we gotta keep hope up and discontent down. We have three days to do that. Make sure that new kitchen is on soup. There. <sighs> what have you missed? Well. If you, if you missed anything, it's a struggle and pain. This has been a very difficult uh, mission. Our mechanical calculator's done. Generator power. We're gonna need to go up a level, boys. Damn, we're still not bringing in enough food. All right. Now what? A lynch mob. Captain, an angry mob has gathered, outraged by the arrival of Lord Craven. They want his head. He'll pay for what he did to our people. He wanted us dead, so death is what he'll get. Requires an active guard station or faith keepers. Lord Craven will be lynched. Bro, I'm sorry. I don't agree with them either. You brought the kids in, so at least there's that, but... Sorry, bro. The prisoners are in charge, I guess. Being barbaric. Lord Craven is dead. Captain Lord Craven has been hanged by the angry mob. He was unrepentant till the very end. I'll do anything to help my people, he said with his last words. You do the same if in my place. You, in fact, are doing it. Do, don't fool yourself. T discontent will fall.
Okay, we can pull back on work times a little bit. Try to help that discontent go down. Not in the coal department, though. Uh, we arrived at the Iron Bank. There's a crack between the vault door and the frame. It's wide enough to squeeze through, and it's completely dark inside. Poor. Useless riches. Uh, this is indeed a vault where the lords planned to preserve as much of their wealth as they could, yet there isn't as much in the way of gold apart from a ancient jewelry and other works of art. There are wonders of science and knowledge here. Instruments, books, newspapers, and letters. Uh, take, leave the treasure intact. Take whatever we can use. Nothing we can use right now. I wonder if we can come back. Yeah, I wanted to take the steam cores, but I also wanted to see if there was like an option to return. Rock slide. Coral in the cookhouse. Captain, a lord is arguing with some of our people uh, who say he was trying to cut in line. He claims his noble birth entitles him to be served first. The lord will be hurt. We don't need any more violence. I I'm on the side of just, just, just relax. What's up, Sheriff Eli? Snow bears in here? I don't know. Well, they're actually in the first uh, mission. There is like bears that attack. It's true. You have to like fight polar bears. Extra rations for the ill. We can speed up recovery with that, okay. 
Well, I sense the food problem will get better. But the health problem's not. It's going to go down to 60. And then 70 below. Like three days later. God. That's crazy, dude. And we got an hour left on the generator. Oh my god. Generator shutting down. Oh well. All according to plan. Uh, Raptor, did you see that Dredge is getting the live action adaptation? They posted about it on Twitter. They posted on their Twitter about it. Okay. So chat's telling me about the Dredge thing, but not the live adaptation. A day ago, yeah. At Partners at Story Kitchen. I think there's a... Is Story Kitchen the same folks who also made a short for um, Papers, Please? I like when they do that. Yeah, we had a lot of people who were uh, sick, yep. Yeah. We had a lot of people come in uh, from outside the city who were who were not doing it so great. The uh, rock slide has revealed a sheer concrete wall with a huge heavy steel door. Buried fortune. We opened the door and the concrete wall with difficulty. Inside we found a venerable industrial treasure trove. An underground complex that probably hosted a factory of some kind. Take the resources. I don't think I can go back to the iron bank and take those materials. You can just read the journal. It's one of those video game tropes where it's like, oh, we left this building. Like, let's leave this box of, you know... A billion useful things here. Okay, cool. Do we take it now or do we ignore it forever? It's like we can't come back and like come back to the box. Like, who else is gonna come around? Like, you know. Okay, the frozen forest could get us some wood. I suppose we should do that then. Uh, broken tree. Explore. New landmarks. Snow-covered supplies and steam lorry. Hmm. Go for the supplies. So I'll probably hit these two and then head home and then those two and then head home. Poor people are homeless. Weird. Put that there if we can. All right. Generator is indeed shutting down. I'll have to wait until that uh, 6 a.m. shift kicks in for the uh, for the coal again. 
Man, if we could find a cold mine or something out there, that'd be great. Oh, great. And it's going to get 60 below, which means discontent's going to rise. Awesome. Love that. Oh, people are eating raw food. No. That's great. What time? Get moving. This one's a doozy. Would we'll take multiple runs. What the hell is that noise? Are you shutting down? No go. Wow, we got three hundred raw food. That's great. Can you imagine eating a raw onion? Well, yeah, I mean, there's, you know, some soups and things that you can kind of dilute that in. Yeah, raw, raw itself, no. Okay. Steam coal mine. Yeah, we need that coal. And I wish I would have gotten those steam cores in that vault, but I don't like how this game does this thing where it's like, take it or leave it. And I was thinking maybe we'd be rewarded later if we don't take it. Like, why wouldn't I take it? Steam cores equal infirmaries and coal mines. I get that house out of there. Coal mines aren't even able to keep up. Snow covering the crates is deep, but we're sure that there are some valuable supplies buried down there. Raw food. Under the snow, we uncovered many crates full of dino nuggies. There's no telling who may have left them here. Hmm. Steam lorry. Heavy steam lorry. Must have been abandoned a long time ago.
immediately buying another flying uh, flying hunter. Okay, maybe when the steam generator shuts down a bit, I can turn it back on right before night. Purposely turning it off. Yeah, let's set that radius to one. We'll uh, turn that back on in a little bit. Get those steam coal mines researched. Thank God. Okay. Now we can upgrade the coal mines. At least one. So food and coal are coming in. Night is coming. Put down food. I want to go back and um, maybe go make sure we open that door this time. Oh, we didn't. Okay. It's too far back. Uh, such a scam when they don't let you go back and get stuff. It's as if, like, when you leave an area, you set a demo charge and destroy everything there. It's like, why? Freezing homes. Keep them heated for three days. You know what? We're going all in. I'm going all in. We're going on a big gamble. Going on a big promise. We're going to heat all the homes. Infirmaries employ five less people. Nice. Get a lot of engineers back for other jobs. Okay, we need iron. Now what? A lord's house is ablaze. Someone set fire to one of the lord's houses. Fortunately, no one was hurt. Sorry to hear that. Well, at least their house isn't freezing. Once this group gets back, things will be better. Man, this one's brutal. Oh boy. All right, we'll just wait it out.
Wow. It's going to be a busy year, chat. It's going to be a busy year. It's going to be busy. Oh, man. Okay, two of these groups are almost to where they need to go. Three and five hours. Gonna need a lot of hope and faith. I just gotta get discontent below 25%. Good luck with that. Is it making you cold? I know, dude. Yeah, our character's like, yeah, you know. Oh, the Lord got hurt? Oh. Hmm. Like one of the most difficult. Th this is like real Frostpunk here, where it's just like huge numbers of people, limited space, limited food, limited coal, limited time. It's crazy. Huge machine used to haul tons of cargo until it broke. We can dismantle it to re retrieve some resources steel and steam cores. Heavy hauler. The generators were built thanks to this. Yeah, were built thanks to the steam lorries like this and their ability to haul cargo over the frozen landscape. It's a shame it can't be repaired. Take the resources. All right, they're coming straight home. Help is on the way. They've got a day to... Look at that. In one day, we'll have 72 food. You know, that's all right. 201 steel. That's awesome. 16 cores. That's huge. 309 coal is great. And wood is awesome, too. Uh, that's a lot of steel. That's going to let us uh, probably upgrade the rest of the... Uh, hopefully, upgrade the rest of the... Um, uh, the the hangers the, the the hunting tents that need to be upgraded to hangers. Man, I'm locked in. Locked in, chat. Always makes you feel so cold watching this game. I know they did such an incredible job of making, um, you know, the corners of the screen frosted up and like snow. And this game's set dressing, it's a very simple game in its presentation. You get like a top down view of a very small city. It, it even makes SimCity 2013 jealous. And like a world map with a couple of dots on it, a couple of texts pop up. But it's more about the, the journey that this game brings you on is just crazy. And it, each mission is kind of the same, but they did a good job of making them really different. I don't know how the second one's going to like expand upon that, but damn. I mean, it seems like it's going to be more like Civ in a way. You know, like expansion and like trying to get resources and stuff, but we'll see. That'll be on the 15th, by the way, folks. So don't forget to subscribe. And then, you know, if you're interested in Frostpunk, on the 15th of April, that's when we get into the Frostpunk uh, 2 beta. And then we'll get to see what the hell that game is. Because I haven't seen really... We've seen gameplay, but it's kind of just been, like, developer gameplay. Where, like, the game is being played, but they're showing you, you know, things they want to show you. Uh, the forest is remarkably snow-free. We could send an outpost team here and start processing the trees for wood. Okay, that's a good thing blown away frozen trees and the uh, driving wind our lumberjacks will have to work hard to keep warm it seems that the wind is responsible for keeping the ground here bare the uh, 
Terrain channels the wind in such a way that it constantly blows the snow away. Interesting. Take resources. 143 wood. Oh, wow. That's a lot more wood. Um, what do we got? Beam core. Now nah, we'll go to the Barren Hollow and then hopefully head back. Uh, this place is the only thing standing out in the entire White Desert. Okay. Oh yeah, we gotta sit. Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta get that research done too. I forgot I have to spend seventy-five on that. Oh uh, wait, won't that interfere with our without Manor Lord? No, Manor Lord doesn't come out until the twenty-sixth of uh, April, and the Frostpunk two beta only goes from the fifteenth to the twentieth, I think. So it's only like a week long. Manor Lord is like the week after. Manor Lords is on a Friday, by the way. The work shift starts. Oh, thank God we have that one uh, steam steam mine going. Can I build a second one? How much are they? 40. Alright, well, a lot of death, a lot of struggle, but things are getting better. My only regret so far, biggest regret, is that uh, door, which I forgot is one of those frost punky things where they're like, hey, uh... Like, they don't tell you you can't come back to a place if you leave it. It's probably implied, but I mean... I'm moving these houses out of here. Maybe it'll be more space for medical clinics. I don't know. person is homeless. So I could leave that space for cookhouses or something. Which probably wouldn't be bad. Do those take up that space? They'll be closer to the... Oh, they're in a cold spot. But we could. But they have heaters. The houses don't. Ah, oh, they're a little too big. Damn. What I could do is get rid of that house and build a, uh, a fighting arena there. And we gotta build another one. Okay, let's upgrade that other coal mine. I don't want any more problems. We've got to make these things livable. I gotta get to the next tier and then make things livable. Make fo homes livable five hours. What the hell? Oh my god. It's over. They're gonna be pissed. 
Man, I wish I could explain to these people. Like, we got a delivery of coal on the way. I got a plan. Like, we don't have resources to go to bunkhouses right now. We're doing the right things. It's, we're, they're just coming up late. Be more than enough food. We need like double. Okay. Temperature's gonna drop again, too. This sucks, man. Oh boy, this is gonna be tough. The team with all the coal arrives in a little bit of time. Well, they're going to be mad. I shouldn't have did the house thing. Damn it. Oh, they're pissed. That really set us back. Urgent need for treatment. You'll have three days to admit one third of the sick to treatment. Fine, I can do that. This is so difficult. Uh. Break down at midnight, and then everyone's got to wait five hours.
This is crazy. Bad blood rises. Captain, a crowd of our people have gathered around the generator. They're talking uh, against the presence of the highborn in our city. Tempers are running high. If we don't resolve the conflict, the city can descend into lawlessness, which will ultimately end in violence. That's probably fine. I don't know how the hell we're getting homelessness when I... I didn't demolish any more homes, did I? Wow, dude, there, there's like nowhere to go. I'll be like two more to be safe. Oh, the generator's shutting down again, too. Alright, but that was according to plan. That was shutting down with about four hours left. These guys will come in and give us a 3 hundo burst. Oh my god. This is such a mess, this one. Whoever came up with this scenario did a great job of like just um, putting the damn accelerator through the floorboards and under the car. I mean, and then under the road surface. I mean, they, they just it ramps up so quickly. Like, it's it starts out pretty good and slow. And it's like, oh, we better... Okay, we gotta get coal, guys. And then after that, it's like, you don't have enough of anything. We hate you. Even the generator's mad at you. Well, not much we can do. We may as well speed up time a little bit. Violent robbery. Captain, some of our people have robbed uh, one of the Lord's houses and brutally beaten its residents, amongst them women and children. Oh, that sucks. Food rations still too low. Most people are hungry, and now they uh, fear the future knowing you can't feed them today. Wait, now the hell, now the goal has changed. Keep hope above 50? Alright, they're super pissed. The discontent should go down when the heater comes back on, but the temperature's gonna drop again. Oh boy, I don't know. People are furious. We must hold on for a couple more days. These guys, these guys themselves are like the uh, the lords now. All right, the scouts came back. Let's fire up the generator. There's nowhere else to go at the moment, so I'm going to disband them. Where's all the food? Baron Hollow, a distinct spot in the Frostland. Uh, 
of course. Ruined warehouse and damaged snowcat. We'll go to the further one. Of course, I knew there was going to be... I figured that'd be a spot for, like, a split like that. Oh, baby. Alright, but here comes all of our hunters, and they're back with food. Shut that off. The next thing I gotta research is generator efficiency. Oh, food is looking real nice. Alright, that's improved. Woman assaulted. Uh, Captain, some of our people have stormed into uh, one of the Lord's houses and dragged four women who live there out in front uh, of a crowd of onlookers. If we don't stop this, the women will be hurt. A few Lords try to stop the assault. They may be killed. Discontent will rise. Five people died. Jesus. Bro, this is just mean. And the other problem is, like, you know, you need to have, like, um, the Faith Keepers, and that they're basically, like, the KGB or the uh, SS or the... Uh, the hell's the other one? The Gestapo, basically. And none of these are good options. Or the other one is literally the KGB, the Gestapo, and the... The SS. It's, it's, th those are like the two options. You either got those guys but wearing... There's either the guys with guns or the guys with crosses. And they also carry like... Well, actually, there's no guns. But regardless, they both carry like baseball bats and stuff. It's like, it's violence. It's basically violence. And the game considers that to be bad. <laughs> like, if you have a police force and like people are rioting and stuff and it's causing more problems they're burning down half the city it's like oh dude you know it's like ugh. on one hand yeah I don't want to use the uh, violent police force on the other hand these people are being vi it's just vi violent who like there's got to be violence who's responsible for it okay well in better news we're actually healing the sick That's damn cool. We're going to have to do an emergency extendo shift, I think, finally. Working night shift in the tower crane and watching uh, some Frostpunk. Life is good. Oh, good. That's cool. Oh, the difference engine is completed. Good. Now we can do research on the generator. we got to do generator efficiency. 100%. If I do the extendo shift, though, everyone's going to be mad. D discontent's going to stay high. This one is way more challenging than I expect. I knew this one would be, like, a little tougher than the others, but I don't remember this. Really? Still with the food? Bro, we bought... We brought back so much stuff. What's up, nutty boy? <laughs> Welcome back, dude. 
Where's that food delivery? They're two hours away. And it's going to get colder. I don't want to change any of the jobs. Because we need to discontent to go down. But it's just going to go up. Food and heating. Everybody mad. Angry about the cold. Well, I, I, ain't, I ain't making no promises. I know Wiz Khalifa. Oh, they reached the ruined warehouse. Uh, three of the four walls are still standing, protecting a small stash of snow-covered supplies. Raw food and wood. Frozen supplies. With moderate effort, we were able to remove the crates containing supplies from under the snow. We'll put them to good use in the city. Take resources. Damaged snowcat. Go. My god. Uh, wow. Uh. Uh, hmm. Yeah. <laughs> this one's going to be tough. All right, we'll have to keep on with this one another day. Folks, I got to get out of here and do some other stuff for this evening. I hope you enjoyed all the extended streams today, including uh, our little look at uh, a game showcase earlier today, which was kind of fun. I'll be back for more Frostpunk's ASAP. More city builders tomorrow, like Lesora Summa, uh, Summit Kingdom, and uh, a lot of cool building stuff. So a lot of building games, a lot of city builders this week. Going to be a big week. Chat, going to be big. No, 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 no. You're, you're not hearing me, chat. This week on the channel, going to be big. Big. All right, I'll see you all for the bigness tomorrow. Or maybe the day after. Who knows? Good night, everybody. I'll see you soon.